over here at Epic Guitar Instruction. How you doing? Good one coming at you. I always say that, but this is Mississippi Queen. It's a little bit of Leslie West talking about mountain. Let's learn it. This is a really great song to play. Classic stuff for all you guitar players out there. And for you guys that are getting, you know, interested in soloing or if you've played for a while, there's just good tone elements that we can talk about with how we execute our bends and things that we'll take a look at that'll serve all of us with a song like this. So, Let's go ahead and take a look. We're gonna work out of the fifth position. We're thinking E pentatonic, E minor pentatonic, but our initial riff is gonna start from what is working out of your uh, five and seven frets here, just off these three low strings. I'm gonna play A to B. I'm gonna hop my index finger over the A string to the G note. I'm gonna hit this G and I'm gonna come back to E. Healthy amount of vibrato on that E note. We have cowbell. We can't forget about cowbell. There's maybe some rolling cowbell. We don't have one. Maybe Dave can insert something good now. I'll just keep hitting it. Right, hit the beat. We're in there. That'll be fun. I can't wait to see how that turns out. So uh, we're rocking. Um, we're going through the riff. The cowbell's ripping. We have this. And then we have some sweet melody that's going to kick in when we learn uh, the rhythm here in a moment. We'll be able to back this up. But what we're going to start with is soloing out of a major pentatonic form that for all the people out there in Nerdsville, we got to think of what it's coming from. This C voice. Look at this little bad boy. We're going to use this guy to focus on these notes. So the main melody kicks off. We have that's the first little lick so I'm gonna be very specific and I'm gonna go now notice as I bend up my pinky comes into 19 I'm gonna let that fall now I don't want to bend it too high The next little riff. So I'm walking straight up. Starting from the beginning, because all of it can sound, you know, pretty repetitive, we're going to think of it like this. Right? Quick little pull off. That's going to be great because that's going over these chords. Which is just like one of the coolest things to play ever. So we're going to slide from a D to an E. Treat this as a 1, 4, 5 with leading chords that are basically going into each identifiable chord. So if I call this my 1 of E, I'm sliding from D. I'm going to hit an open low E string. I'm going to go straight to the E note. I'm going to jump my third finger up to hit B, and then I'm going to follow forward three notes. A little pull off there from the G to an open string, landing on that E. Also, you can pivot off that low E and bail that B note. There's jamming involved, just talking about live versions and things in the course of finding research. As long as you're getting back to the E and resolving, you're all good. We're going to go to the four chord now, sliding in from the G. there for a second. Miles, what are you going to think? Miles likes mountain. Yay, Miles. Big Leslie West fan. You're a Leslie West fan. Me too. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, rocking. Humbuckers. 
you like his hair. Miles is a fan of Leslie West's vibe, I think. So as we go into the four chord, what we're gonna do is we're gonna treat it the same. We're gonna say that we're sliding in from the G. Executing it much in the same fashion, everybody goes down one string. If I wanna do the version where I bring up my third finger. So it's going to be A going to B. We're going to play pentatonic to here. Notice because the I have no more open strings available to me at this point, so I'm going to have to flatten my third finger. Going back to the A. And then we're going to stab an E. That's going to get us out of it before we have that sweet cowbell. And of course our tagline of... Mississippi Queen. If I could sing it, man, it'd be awesome. But I can't. Oh, and so no. I'm not going to do that to you. That I'm not. That'd be horrible. Uh, breaking in, though, we have the sweet melody. I'm going to switch to my front pickup. Let's talk about the beauty of that for a minute. You can really sing those notes out a little bit. So when you're executing this stuff. I rake into about 95% of my bends, I've noticed over time. Um, as I glide into them like this, a lot of people tell me the same thing or ask me the same thing over the course of my lessons. Like when you're bending, like let's examine this because tone is really uh, important in this. As I'm coming down, this first finger, he's not doing anything but blocking these low strings. Oftentimes people will say to me, man, when I go down, I hear that when I'm bending and I just want to make sure that that alleviates that and I have to mute on these low strings with my palm so as I go into it I can you know exaggerate over exaggerate whatever but it's the fact that the tone is going to happen I mean these I'm plugged straight into a practice amp right there's no pedals this is just an old, you know, replicated 50s pickup. So it's got to come off of the way that the note resonates from the guitar more than anything else. And these little things really, really help. Make sure you let things sing a bit before you pull off of them. And you'll get a little bit of that fatter tone. With a single coil pickup, you can roll down your tone knob a little bit and you'll even. And if you need any scale assistance, you know, with going through this, I should say probably this is a good point to say that. Um, there's a link that's available to you in that YouTube text box below. And if you click on it, it's going to give you a free video and a coinciding ebook that's pretty awesome. It gives you all kinds of great information, scale shapes. It really does give you a lot of stuff and it gets you started with soloing even if you're advanced in it a bit it'll give you some helpful stuff and you'll be able to understand a little bit more what i'm talking about with the verbiage as we go through the position now in the song we've kind of gone through it really right we're talking about classic 70s rock here so um as we play this and he goes into the second verse, he does the same thing kind of an octave lower. So this will be another way that we can perceive it. It's tougher to bend here, you know. If you stick to these cool little endings where you do vibrato and you end it and you let the reverb kind of carry out. Little finishers going to here, not picking this one. You'll get really close to the Leslie West feel. That's a rake into a bend, and I'm not picking this, and I'm kind of getting out of it as fast as I can. And a lot of this stuff is done in the second verse. When it goes to the A, he does this really cool bend here. And over the A, you know. You 
you don't know why he would do that note, really. I mean, you're thinking kind of probably more minor. He's bending it to a B tonality. Theoretically, you can get all crazy out there and say he's, you know, bending it to the, the nine or something like that. And even over the turnaround of going to the B, he's still going to play in this shape. Which is kind of more A minor pentatonic in orientation. But landing on that seventh. So there's some cool things that he's playing around with because that seventh, of course, is going to be the tonic. Key. We're getting nerdy. We're getting nerdy. But we're just talking about how things can kind of like balance out at the end of the day. When you can take something and get lost in, there's always a way to trace it back to something that's really important. I hope you dug it. We're really, you know, just this alone. We can do that all day long. Neighbors love that. And you should turn it up louder right now like louder every single Put it time on 11. turn it on 11 and some amps these days with the hop of them pedals we can go past that right so that's always good please like the video subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment those are really important to us over here at epic guitar instruction we had a good time today really easy fun to get lost in so thank you so much and i'll see you next time